All right, Marcus, um, what was your thought as that punt came to you and uh, as you took it to the house, as that unfolded? Uh, my first thing was ball security, so making sure I tracked the ball and everything because the wind was going crazy out there. That was the main thing, and just uh, staying within the scheme and, you know, without my teammates on that play, that would have been a hard play to make. So. And just to follow up, how would you describe your emotions as you stand here minutes after this unfolded? Um, it's one of those situations to where I'm happy, you know, definitely for the divisional win. So uh, that's the main thing. And now I'm on to the next week. I'm one of those people. Marcus, at what, Marcus, at what point did you realize you're going to get a touchdown on that play? And were you surprised that they punted it to you as opposed to getting it out of bounds in that spot? Yeah, uh, my main thing is I thought they was going to go ahead and try to kick it out of bounds due to uh, the time on the clock. But um, the first thing was trying to make sure that I follow my teammates block it, then I seen a punter. And I was like, if I make a miss, then I should be able to go to distance. Marcus, when was the last time you scored a game-winning touchdown ever? Uh, I honestly <laughs> don't remember. First like, time? Which, first time. I say definitely this is the biggest one because National Football League, you know. So, yeah. Actually, to, to follow that, I think you – didn't you return a kick 100 yards against SMU to, to beat them uh, in the final seconds? So just knowing you, you're, you have the ability to do that and you did that on a different level, did that give you the confidence that you could make a play like this? Um, the, the, the main thing is uh, definitely confidence being back there and just staying within, you know, uh, pressing my teammates most of the time because the punter was definitely trying to hang it up there for a little minute and everything. So just getting underneath it and just following my teammates. Marcus, at one point you went out with a, an ankle injury. You know, how significant was it? Um, you know, did you have to lobby to come back into the game? Uh, it was just one of those situations to where I just needed to get tape. So I just went in from there and everything like that. So that's the main thing. Hey, Marcus, over here by the wall. Um, just given the way that game was going, did you get a sense when it was 3-3 three to three for a couple hours that it might come down to a special teams play? And did you have that as you dealt with the ankle injury kind of driving you to, to get back out there? Uh, coach was just telling us day in and day out, you know, we got to make a play on special teams. So that was the main thing that we always try to enforce, especially this game, because it was offense, defense, you know, things like that. So he definitely told us it will come down to a special teams uh, play. You're sort of new to this year. This is your first year here. We've been following this team for 20 years plus years with Belichick, and we've heard about the importance of special teams. We hear how he says it's important, and you guys work on field, but all this other stuff. How is it, how can you explain to us how important special teams is to the New England Patriots? Um, special teams is definitely a big role. Uh, it's definitely longer than an average offensive and defensive play, and usually you're out there for one play, and most people give it their all every single time that they go out there, and it's very important for the field position aspect of the game. And Coach Belichick, the importance he seems to put on it, I, I'm assuming he talks about it a lot. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah, he does. Marcus, I'm just struck by the fact you said you're already moving on. I mean, part of sports is just to see things that we don't always expect to see. Do you even allow yourself to enjoy what just unfolded? Oh, definitely. You know, whenever I see my teammates, you know, the excitement of – like I said, a divisional game. And also, you know, my parents actually came to this game. So seeing them and everything would be definitely be a good thing. What, what do you, when you say your parents came to the game, just to follow up on that, um, like have they been to other games here this season? Is this their first time? And what do you envision that moment will be like when you get to see them? Uh, this is their first time coming both together, coming to this game. And just, you know, just excited for them to see the atmosphere of uh, this place and just having a good time watching the game. Uh, yeah, for sure. Thank you. Thank you.